the entire building and that answer is yes, we will. We will have a retail store as well as a bay to install hitches, front-end hitches for campers, trailers, <coughs> bike racks, as well as two uh, drive-up outside store buildings. That is at the entrance, the front entrance of Austin.
sure you, we will not be leaving the gas pump. Uh, another uh, thing that we're going to be having at this location, besides secure, clean uh, cell storage rooms, is U Box. Has anybody ever heard of U Box? No? Okay. So, U Box moving containers provide a convenient, flexible, and secure way to move and store your belongings. With home delivery, your U-Box moving and storage container is brought directly to your, door, to your door. You are able to use as many containers as you need at the origin or destination. When you are ready, we ship them to your new, house, new home across town or across the world. The containers are sealed with your lock and key. Your goods are transported by truck with general ride suspension for safe shipping while in storage. Your possessions are kept in secure and dry new all facilities. And with this site, if you look at the proposed site plan, eighty percent of this building is going to be the normal secure stores that we're all used to. The rest of it will be the retail location, the hitch bay, it's all the hitches, and then an area to secure your few boxes, the portable self storage rooms. And that is all we are proposing for this, the site. As it sits right now, the site is zoned for storage. And what we've been asking the city is to allow us to use our trucks and trailers. That's it's actually it right now. I'll open it up for questions if anybody has it. Do me a favor, Mr. Martin. Yes, those, those, those that do not have one of these, could you kind of hold that up? Oh, I Because you've got three, you know, show them <coughs> the trees or whatever so they can see the lines that you're proposing for the site. So our property includes the current check cash in place. That uh, was also brought up. We will be inheriting that property and it will not be a check cashing place any longer. It's not something that the community needs. We're not really about the check cashing place. It's kind of rough right now. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I apologize, guys. Um, but like I said, the check cashing place will be going away once we acquire the property. Uh, the, dairy, the Dixie King. The, Dixie King is not ours. Um, what I have done recently, I don't know if anybody has driven there, driven by it, I'm sure you have, or actually on the property. We have cleaned up the existing trees that are there. We uh, had to dispose of a couple of them, they were dying. The trees have not been taken care of for quite some time. So I actually hired a local landscaper to go in and take care of the trees so that they don't die. And it looks better, it shows better off the corner. Yes, ma'am. I can, I can take care of that. That's, Kevin, yeah, I'll take care of that. Kevin afterwards, yeah. I promise you he will take care of yeah. it. Yeah. 
That's an easy fix. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Madam, Madam, yeah. Cabin, if you make sure you see her. Yes, ma'am. That's my best one. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Uh, you mentioned the inspections. 
40 of them, 40 facilities that were previously Kmart <coughs> and then transitioned into U-Haul products. I, I know that with OPD Office of Planning Development, they, when they approve a plan, like for Kmart, for example, their parking density is based on the use of the facility. Like in Kmart's case, it was all retail, required so many parking spaces for how many square feet of retail. Uh, did, did you all have any thoughts about reducing that large area of asphalt and transitioning for more green space? That is actually something that uh, I was working with a local landscaper to try to figure out how we can get rid of some of that asphalt because we don't need that asphalt and make it into a green space, adding more trees, more grass. Um, that may help you as far as your you know, your city council presentation, obviously having more green space and showing the reduction of parking area, because it's not, it won't be required, as I understand it, based on the changed use of that building. It, it actually, if you're right, it's not required. And what we've got going on in Jackson right now is I'm taking two acres of the property up there that it was asphalt, and I'm reducing, I'm actually taking out the asphalt and planting grass and more trees to have more because it looks better. Nobody wants to see a bunch of empty parking. One of the problems that we have in Raleigh sometimes is where there is commercial property and large parking lots, um, if semi trucks come and park on the lots, even though they aren't connected to the business there, are you going to have some way to, con to control that so that we won't be looking at a lot of trucks? Absolutely. Um, the property up in Jackson, for that again, that had turned into a semi parking lot. When, when I was looking at the building, there was 34 semis that parked there every single day. And the stipulation that the city gave me was they are fine if we go in there, but take care of the semi problem. Um, now, that is, you know, somebody's livelihood. I don't want to just tow people's trucks. We gave everybody 30 day notice and posted signs that there was no long term semi truck parking. And um, it actually has worked out really well. We don't have a problem with it. The city's happy, we're happy. It's just kind of, it was a really easy fix, actually. But I mean, that's, I have, I have several family members that are truck drivers, and that's what they do. They look for empty parking spots just so they can take a nap. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this may be a question for you and Patty Dove. As your plans progress, and as you go through designing and working with Um, everything has actually been, the land use control has approved it with some conditions. Um, we had, we were presenting to the city council three months ago and we were asked by uh, Mr. Morrison, Ms. Morrison to hold it off so I could present to you what we were actually planning. Um, back in May I held a community meeting. It was not in the Raleigh community and that was my mistake. I wanted everybody to see what our adaptive reuse program is, so I held at our Illinois Avenue location. I don't know if anybody's ever been to that location. Yeah, it, was, it was downtown. It was a, it's been a vacant building for over 60 years, and we're currently renovating that building. And it's, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. That's why I wanted people to see it. So, Do you get tours of it? Absolutely, all day long. We've had, we've had people request to come in and film it and actually, there was a film crew that was so interested in what we were doing, they wanted to film the process. One of the things that the city wanted to make sure of was that you all had come and talked to Raleigh, specifically the Raleigh Community Council, to see if the Raleigh Community Council felt comfortable with it or did not feel comfortable. And it took us a while to, and I'll be honest with you, it took us a while to get you all here in front of us. Um, so that's why it was done then and it's been this long. The council just wanted to make sure that Raleigh was comfortable with the presentation because as you all know, right down the street is the, the Raleigh Town Center. Absolutely.
And when you come into Raleigh, the first thing that you're going to see is the U Haul. And that's, that's really what most people see when they go and in, move into a community. And that's why we want to give the community and everybody something to be proud of. Yes, ma'am.
that is where we would have trailers and trucks would be here. Not signage? No. <laughs> Will there be any signage at all? The signage, if you look right here. Is that all just on the On the building? Yes, ma'am. That is it's a total of 322 square feet. We're actually allotted we double that on the building. But I didn't want to blast you guys a few holes while we were trying to display. I hate to let you guys know this is a U-Haul facility. And uh, we would like to try to reuse the existing sign on it and not add a new one. Uh, 54. Okay. We could do 55 and a half with the baby. Yeah. <laughs>
Ashley has been our treasurer. At our board meeting last month, Jeanette Rowland, who is our membership chairperson, was also elected to serve as treasurer. Mm -hmm. And excuse me, Robbie Weathers got in the throat. Um, John Lynn was nominated and appointed to take over the website and the newsletter as of the end of December. Which brings us to this. If you are interested in serving as an officer or on the board of directors, think very carefully about it. We will have a nomination from you that you can do through the website or you can do it. Um, we have a board member here, board member there, party, Kevin. Board members, raise your hand. Virginia. If you are interested in being nominated or serving on the board or as an officer, please contact one of the board members or go through um, the RaleighRedefined.org and fill out the information. Also, if you know of someone you would really like to have on the board, please ask that person before you nominate that person. <laughs> Sometimes we forget that small detail, and that's a biggie. And also remember that it is a commitment, not just general meetings, not just board meetings, and I see Frida laughing. I am really bad about telling you what, to need, what needs to be done, and I have always have ways of suggesting how to do it. But it gets done. The board <laughs> listens to you. You run the board and you run the Raleigh Community Council. We are looking for strong, strong members to fill the boards. We can have from seven to 15 on the board. So please, please think about it and come join us, be active in Raleigh. Raleigh Community Council does good stuff. And uh, Mayor will be glad to tell you that. Mayor will be glad to tell you that. And one of the things that happens when uh, there is someone that comes and presents to the board and it's in the area of Raleigh, they gets a call. Have you talked to this person? So, please, if you want to join, know that it is a full-time commitment to the betterment of Raleigh. The elections will be in January. What normally happens, I introduced it tonight. I will talk about it in November. We should have the slate, hopefully, to be presented Saturday, uh, December, at our Christmas feast, where everybody's happy and eating, and the, and the slate can be presented well. And that way, at the meeting in November, I mean in January, is when we will have the slate presented to the active members. Active members that will vote at that point in time on the slate of officers and our board members. Jeanette, and I'm, sorry, I'm gonna say this out loud, we will have to have uh, updated membership by the end of December, because some folks are not paid in January, it's the first meeting. So at the end of December, we'll have to have an active membership role. Was paid to us, uh, there are a lot of folks here tonight that are new faces, and I don't mean that negatively to us old folks. But if you are visiting here tonight, raise your hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I have to tell you, I hope the signs, did you notice the signs about the Rodney Community Council? 
I have to tell you about the signs. <laughs> Kevin, who is our Mr. <clears throat> do all around here, is in charge of putting up the signs. Last night, it was so, the ground was so hard, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't get the signs in. So at the board meeting last, the 20th, last month, I said, Kevin, be sure and put the signs up so we'll know. Well, it rained and the ground got soft, so he went out and put them up two weeks early. <laughs> <laughs> true story, very true story. <laughs> yep. I can't tell you the <laughs> notifications I got about you've changed the Rock Community Council meeting. <laughs> it's next Thursday. And, and well, how did you know? Well, the signs are up. <laughs> <laughs> so I texted Kevin and said, thank you very much for putting up those signs. Could you take them down? <laughs> <laughs> You're two weeks early. <laughs> and I said, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. But the ground was wet because it had rained, yep. so yep. we made it. But thank you for coming. We're here the first <coughs> Thursday of each month, unless it's a feast. And we're, instead of being here, we'll be downstairs. <laughs> so, so please come. Please come and join us. Uh, get active in Raleigh. I've lived here since 79. Can't imagine any, any other place that I would want to live or my children here. Um, so, we are pleased to be part of Raleigh. We have a um, mall that was torn down, town center being put up. And if you've gone by the town center, man, that thing is going. I, I got real tickled. I called when it rained so much, I got so excited because one of the ponds was full. So I called Bill and I said, Bill. And my, I thought they had put water in just to see what it looks like. <laughs> and I get this, and I knew that was wrong. Mom, that's the rain. <laughs> <laughs> They've got to take all that out. <laughs> but you could see the, the size of it. Uh, you could see where the, the concrete's going up. So it, it, it's, every time you go back, it's something new, something new. Thank all of you, thank you so much for coming, so much for coming. Uh, any old business? Any new business? Yes, ma'am? Growth.
Okay. 